Cześć, tu Antert i zapraszam na wspólną grę w The Stanley's Parable. E, jest to bardzo ciekawa gra. E, widzę, że widzę swój ekran na ekranie. E, ekranu w grze. Ekranocepcja. E, jest to bardzo ciekawa gra, w której dokonujemy wyborów. i Mamy narratora, który nam opowiada wszystko, co robimy. Możemy go słuchać i podążyć tak jak gra nam każe, żeby iść, czyli poznać tą historię stworzoną przez twórców taką standardową, albo pójść własną drogą, tak jakby buntując się przeciwko narratorowi. No i możemy spróbować zobaczyć, jak nam wyjdzie. Czy się zbuntujemy, czy pójdziemy jednak tą właściwą drogą. Ta gra kiedyś chyba początkowo wyszła jako Jakiś darmowy mod chyba do Half-Life'a, dwójki, a później została stworzona taka pełna wersja już na własnym silniku chyba, chociaż nie wiem czy akurat silnik graficzny to nie był też z Half-Life'a, ale bardziej rozbudowana już wersja, która nie była tylko modem, tylko to jest właśnie ta pełna gra. Na Steamie można nawet zagrać w demo. No dobra, zobaczmy ile się to będzie ładowało, najwyżej to wytnę. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Mm, employee like number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, Take telling care. him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every, every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh, yeah, so no one the IT showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years of the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped oh. out of his office. Zobaczmy, czy mogę napisy włączyć. Ok, zobaczmy. 4, 2, 9. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Może pod stołem. Dokumenty porozrzucane. Co my tu mamy? Ło. Drzwi na tajemniczy korytarz otwarte. Stary 17. Co jest na kubku? I hate Monday. To takie typowo korporacyjne. A tam co się działo? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, i tu jest właśnie kwestia tych wyborów, których mogę dokonać. E, narrator mi każe iść w lewo, ja mogę iść w prawo. Więc zobaczmy, co się stanie, jak pójdę w prawo. Generalnie chcę śledzić historię tak, jak mi narrator opowiada, ale zobaczmy. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No właśnie, dokładnie. Tak chciałem zrobić. U, tutaj jakiś niezły burdel się wydarzył. Kiepskie biuro. A to co? To jest ten conference room? 
Coś mi strasznie ścina. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, here drinking it all in. Tak to wspaniale. Mogę się napić czegoś? Cold drink. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. No, really piękna obraza. No, oczywiście. Nie uważasz tak, drogi narratorze? Dobra. At this, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Czyli muszę iść tutaj, mogę iść tam dalej, dalej nie słuchać do jakiegoś wielkiego magazynu, albo mogę pójść tutaj. To jest straszniejsze miejsce, ale dobra. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. Albo mogę tutaj zjechać. Gdzieś. Jak widać jest wiele różnych dróg do wyboru. Ale tak jak mówiłem, ja chcę póki co... W zależności od tego jak się potoczy historia... Yet there was not a single person here either. Oh, tips Feeling from not getting fired. Disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find Aye. an answer there. Let it fall inside the tank. Huh. Eh, co mi powiedział? Mam iść dalej? Bo wrócić już nie mogę. Everyone is unique. You, most of all. <laughs> I co mam zrobić? Broom closet. Hmm. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Jest broom. Broom, 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 broom. Nic nie ma tutaj na pewno. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No o. reason to still be here. Mogę się napić wody z tego. Mmm, pyszna woda. It was woda. baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just to standing there doing sweet To wygląda jak coś radioaktywnego. Dobra, idę stąd. Jak sobie życzysz. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No i znowu jest wybór, mogę iść na dół. Albo do góry do szefa. No to idźmy do Big Bossa. Wow. W końcu słońce. Nie mogę wejść do Executive Bedroom. Nie ma to jak mieć prywatny kibel. Nawet sekretarki nie ma. Nie mogę przeczytać co jest na dokumentach. Wow, ten to ma gabinet. Myślałem, że ja mam zajebista. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being mm. held from him? What he could not Tanti. have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. No, to skąd ja to wiem? 2845? Ale gdzie mam to wpisać? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, ah, trying to two, input anything on the device eight, was useless, four, since he could never possibly five. know, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the what keypad, the fuck is Stanley going on? happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Whoa. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Z 
zajebiście. To się robi strasznie. Tutaj będą jakieś straszne rzeczy. What the fuck? Holy fucking shit. Nie chcę grać w horror dzisiaj, naprawdę, już mam dosyć. God damn it. Daliby człowiekowi trochę spokoju w tym życiu przeklętym. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. No. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? No, bo miał dobrą this wypłatę. question would not go unanswered for long. Ta. I to wygląda już strasznie. Stanley walked straight ahead Mind through the large control. door that read Mind Control Facility. A escape to time. No dobra, idziemy do Mind Control. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Szkoda, że nie mogę zbliżyć. No to jakieś numery tylko. No zobaczmy, co tu się dalej będzie działo. Pa 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 pa. Para pa pa para pa. Employee observation protocol. No dobra. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true Whoa. nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Jak w każdej korporacji. Czego się dziw? What the fuck is this? Aha, to się tak zmienia. For... Dobra. Odpalmy to. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Oh. That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Nie wiem, ale chcę coś na siebie no. nosić już. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. No, I'm just under the control of the narrator. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Tak. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions: happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. What and as the, the cold fuck? reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Czyli for he robić? would dismantle the controls once and for all. Czy co mam do tego power facility iść? Co mam to włączyć? No właśnie, chociaż tam było offline wszędzie. I co teraz? Gdzie ja mam iść? And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? He had won. He had defeated the machine. 
unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Tak chyba za prosto by było. Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not the power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Oh, that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. To co mogę podjąć decyzję, żeby nie wychodzić? Oczywiście, że chcę wyjść. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. Chciałem zobaczyć ten budynek z zewnątrz jeszcze. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way. Spadek klatek. Right now, that things were meant to happen, and Stanley was happy. Yay! Happy ending. Jednak się udało wystarczyło śledzić narratora. Beat the game. Bardzo szybko poszło. O dziwo. Dobra, to było Stanley Parable. To główny wątek, ten śledzący poczyniania, tak jak narrator chce. Możemy zacząć od nowa grać i ścinąć inną ścieżką. Może to kiedyś zrobię. A póki co wam dziękuję za oglądanie i do zobaczenia w następnym odcinku. Cześć.